It's been four minutes already, Ethan, hasn't it? We're getting totally covered by the snow. Don't worry, George. Vera and Wendy are on their way. Ow! Scores 2 0 to Sam Sparky. Hey! Huh. We took you for snowman, guys. Are you ready? Shall we go? Come on then. Ow! 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 Scores 3 to 2 to Wendy and Vera. Now let's go. Oh, man. Hey. My grandmother knitted me this sock cap. Isn't it beautiful? When the crossing gate is closed, it's forbidden to pass the railroad. It's very dangerous. Why sit here? No train is coming. Let's go. Now I see that the crossing gate is a very useful thing. <laughs> Catch up, catch up, where are you? <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm almost there. <laughs> These slides are for elderly trains, it seems. Let's go find another slope to play on. Hey, look at this slope. It's really awesome. This slope is for real racers. Yeah, but a railroad is down the hill. Way too dangerous. You might land on the rails. I will try anyway. I don't oh, like dear. this ah thing. Nope. Not one bit. Come on, let's back away right now. Whoa! Oh! Oh, dear. Huh? <laughs> hey, guys. Let's go skating on a skating rink. No railroad around there. No worries whatsoever. Whoa! Arnold, we were so worried about you. Yeah, now I understand how dangerous it is to play beside the railroad. Oh, no! Oh, oh dear, my new cap! What should I tell my grandmother? We'll get it back right away, no sweat. Uh -huh. Hey, Arnold, mm -hmm. hand me your snowboard. I'll take care of it. Sam Sparky, uh -oh. Oh, it's dear. only a sock cap, please don't. Technically, his estimation is correct, but I simply can't watch it. Uh, Did you guys see that? I'm not Sam Sparky. I'm Spider Train. You should never, ever climb the wagon roof. Don't you know that playing on the railroad is strictly forbidden for you young ones? You see? And now that's the result. Oh. All right, now, here is your flyaway. It was hard to dig him out of the snowbank. Oh. Oh, 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 Wendy, your grandma knitted you a very good cap. So warm. Yeah. Ethan, what's on your mind? I'm going on a real expedition. I want to find treasure. Are you with me? Isn't it dangerous? George, don't be so scared. This will be fun. Looking for treasure will be a real adventure. Really? Where can we find treasure? On the island. All pirates hide their treasure on islands. I read somewhere that all the treasure has already been found. Okay, okay, I'm with you. That is a brilliant idea. I want to go to the island too. Maybe we should join them. No way! We don't need these kids. We'll find the island first and all the treasure will be ours.
Hey guys, we are so far from the city, and it is so dangerous. I fear something terrible is coming. I have an idea. They're making a raft. Ah, poor kids. I have a better idea. Is it too far? The water, it's so wet. I don't know. I'll ask someone now. Where do pirates usually hide their treasure? Where is it hard to get? For example, on that hill? Let's go. Oh, wow! It is huge! There will be so much treasure! <laughs> treasure? Let me see. <gasps> George, if you were a pirate, where would you hide your treasure? I've read that treasures are always marked with a rock or even a skeleton. Hey, look! There is a huge rock on the hill! Good job, Vera. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> now we're close. Treasure, here we come. Hello? Hey guys, you could have stayed in that pit forever. We just wanted to be the ones to find the treasure first. It's such a pity we did not find any treasure. <laughs> Who said we didn't find any treasure? I think our friends are treasure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, are you in? Hey, George, where are you? I'm up here. But how did you get up there? It's my latest invention. It makes the little trains go over wastelands, oceans, and mountain peaks. Isn't it cool? Awesome. Can I take a ride? No problem. Come out. I brought another set for you. It's wonderful. Everything is so small down there. Hey, look, it's Grandpa Billy. Grandpa Billy, hello. Little brats, I can't see you. Where are you? My invention is not for the use of mischief and pranks. It is for help and assistance. Let's go make fun of Arnold. I should really stop watching those alien movies before midnight. He quickly found shelter in the attic from them. Suddenly, a voice of an alien came through the window and said to them, We came for your delicious engine. We came for your delicious engine. My engine isn't tasty. Who has a delicious one here? Fantastic has for sure. Fantastic. Your engine is delicious, isn't it? No, mine doesn't taste good either. We're all totally disgusting dudes here. <laughs> Look at you guys! Open your eyes, it's us! True friends would never do such a thing. Hey there, don't worry, Arnold. Tomorrow we will pay them back, I can promise you that. It was an awesome ride, thank you. But the prank was a bit wicked, don't you think? Yeah, tomorrow we'll fly there to apologize. We test the system now. 
I'll make sure it works, and in the evening, they'll see it coming. Are you sure I won't fly to outer space? I hardly had any breakfast. Don't worry about it, Arnold. Just let it go. Oh, oh. What did you eat? Kettlebells? Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Grandpa Billy. <sighs> Lovely weather today. <laughs> I love stories about castles, especially yeah, enchanted too. ones. <gasps> what time is it now, please? Uh, Arnold, where are you going? Wait for us. I'd be happy, but I can't stop. thanks to my latest invention. But still, true friendship is the best help you can get. Helpful tips for small trains. Author, Professor Florna. Guys, we must read this book for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it says for small trains. We don't want to read it with you. <laughs> Imagine that you are on a very high bridge. Ethan, can you imagine or no? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm imagining now. <gasps> wow, that's cool. Just a little bit cold, but we can change it. Ah! There are two tips. First, lie down, which I already did. Second, close your eyes and scream, help. Help! Help! Professor Dunlora's tips are really strange. Imagine that you're in a dark, long, and tumbled tunnel. Welcome to our dark and scary tunnel. Awesome. I always wanted to have fun in a tunnel. If you are lost in a tunnel, lie down, close your eyes, and scream, help! I'm not going to scream help anymore. Professor Dunlora must be kidding us. I'm going to find the way out. Dead end and take a chance if you're brave. Hmm, let's try dead end. No, we are brave. We are not choosing the dead end. Maybe we should stop imagining I'm already dizzy. This is really fun! We're 
in the next chapter now. But I don't know how to swim. Can we scream help? I see someone else is reading Professor Dunlora's book. Help! 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 They are wild. I'm afraid that they can eat us by mistake. They can't get back. We should help them. Thank you, guys. We started reading and couldn't come back. You know who Professor Dunlora is? That's Arnold, upside down. <laughs>tell each other about our future dreams when we grow up. You start, Vera, what do you want to be? I'll become an emergency doctor. Just imagine this. Ethan catches a cold, and I tell him, you should breathe in, and now you should breathe out. Huh? Um. Is this doctor breathe in, breathe out? Breathe in, breathe out. Where's the patient? Here you are. Now breathe in, breathe out. What's your problem? Open your mouth, ah. say ah. Say ah. ah. Very good. Breathe in, breathe out. Dear sir, your nose is running severely. We will give you the best medicine. Breeze in, breeze out, you're quite a doctor. And what is your dream, George? I will be a famous scientist who makes a really great discovery. Just imagine this, guys. As you can see with the simplest equation right here, we shall conduct this experiment. But there is just one question. <gasps> Please note how successfully this object splits into two. <clears throat> there, my dear colleagues, we may put this matter to rest. My lecture is over. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very cheerful lecture. And what about you, Ethan? And I, I want to be an illusionist and a hypnotizer. Imagine this. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> And now, Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> hey, where am I? You are sleeping. I don't feel like sleeping, but I am hungry. Your eyelids are heavy. You are falling into a deep sleep. On the count of three, you'll be sleeping soundly. One, two, three. What kind of hypnotizer would fall asleep in his own performance? Oh, why can't we make ourselves useful even in our own dreams? Hey, kids, why are you so sad? We told each other our dreams of what we would become when we grow up. And then in the dreams, everything went wrong for us. It's because we're good for nothing, right? Don't feel bad, guys. When I was a kid, my music would scare away all of the trolleykins in town. Then I studied hard, and eventually I made it. I think I will start with going back home and doing my school homework for today. Me, Brethren. 
Me, Big Go, is calling you. Advance towards me, Strong Sue. And you come over here, Small T. Why are you calling yourself big and choose to call me small? Okay. Let it be Big T. Advance towards me. I'd rather be called something like, something like T the Greatest. But Big T is just fine. Me brethren. <clears throat> Excuse me. Me faithful brethren, Indian trains from the Sam Sparky tribe have kidnapped <clears throat> our sister <clears throat> Vera. We shall seek revenge. <clears throat> The small, the greatest warrior has captured you. Cry out for help. Hey, somebody, help me. Save me, please. Help me out of these boyish, stupid games. Let me do some serious stuff. For example, embroidery. <laughs> they will hear Vera's voice for sure. Come to save her and fall into my traps. <laughs> Listen, when we kidnap Vera back, they will chase us for sure, and then they will fall into our traps. Great plan, George. And a heavy one, too. <laughs> ah. Vera. We have come to save you. You've been playing for three days. I'm really bored. I'm going to do my embroidery. Hmm. If we want to set her free, we're going to need her to be captured again. What happened? How could you forget where you digged your own pits? Farah, <coughs> huh? wait! We have to save you, wait! <laughs> hey, George, look, I got her! <coughs> or did they get me? <sighs> Oh, come on. How could you forget about your own traps? That's ridiculous. <gasps> hey, boys, need any help from me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Vera, save us, please. All right, then. I will save you, but on one condition. Huh. I'd rather be sitting in the trap. Hmm. Vera, enough, please. We've been playing Indians for three days. You'll be doing embroidery. It's so exciting, you guys. I can't understand it. Such a good teacher like yourself having such a badly behaved son? We didn't know. Well, you should have known that. The railroad is no playground. It's very dangerous. Especially if you're clinging to moving wagons. That's dangerous for everybody, not just kids. And this time they got away with a scratch. But next time they could get seriously injured. I, I think it's time to go. Goodbye. What's wrong with you? How could you do that? Now go home. Your father will have a talk with you later. What's going on? Did they go and play on the railroad again? I told him a million times. And I assure you that we studied all the safety rules in class over and over again. Safety rules, you say? 
Mm -hmm. I see. Well, it's time to study the unsafety rules then. Just trust me. <laughs> Children, I need your help now. We are all going to teach someone the unsafety rules. Hey. Yeah. Oh, those adults. They always worry and for nothing. Arnold, wake up! Don't fall asleep! Our adventures are waiting! Hey, George, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Wanna go with me where I've been yesterday? Yeah, but first tell me where you were yesterday! Playing on the railroad. It's so cool. I broke something when I played there, but the doctor says in two years I'll be fine. Can you three help me and push me to the railroad? Because I can't go by myself anymore. Hmm. No. It's too early for you. It's just too bad he played on the railroad, eh? Huh? Oh, hey guys. Do you like our new look? You know, now I have to go out in two separate parts. Can you imagine that? Huh? But what happened to you guys? Oh, nothing much. We were clinging on to Grandpa Billy when all of a sudden he reversed. I'm telling you, it was great fun. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but they say that someday the pain may pass. Is it fun or what? Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, maybe can we go to the library instead oh, of that? No. Uh, we had some plans, remember? Vera, you were a very good girl. Playing on the railroad is what it's all about. Yes, Mother. And now the joy is tearing me apart. <laughs> Uh, w where was it that we wanted to play on? Mm, well, now I changed my mind. So, how do I get to the library? Turn left at the corner. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> I think that they finally got the point. It was much easier than making our dad stop snoring at uh, To begin with... Here is the road traffic safety guide, and we'll start with the signs first. Hey, right? uh, can I be the first to read it? Hi. Ethan, where are you going? Today is April Fool's Day. We're going to have fun at the party. <laughs> hey. Pull the string and find a gift. Clown. <laughs> hey, George. Ethan asked me to give you powder for magic tricks. You put it in the flask and the color changes. Really? We can do it at the party. Here, come and try it. <laughs> Boy! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, boy, 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 boy! I don't understand anything. No, you don't. Happy April Fool's Day! <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! Oh, I'm late for the party. <laughs> Vera, stop. I feel dizzy already. Stop it. Finally, here they are. Hey, guys, what's wrong with you? Sam, Sparky, and Fantastic pulled April Fool's Day jokes on us. That's why we're late. But those aren't very nice jokes. 
What should we do now? You could give them a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Our jokes on Ethan and George were really funny. Here you are. I've been looking for you. You have a prize. What kind of prize? For the best jokes. You get free rides on a roller coaster for joking with Ethan and George. My turn. taking photos. Is this a joke? Isn't it funny? Your jokes weren't funny for me and George. Nobody loves bad jokes, but good jokes make us happy.